never get tired. Hot dog, hot man. dog man. Man. I love this issue. Hot dog man is sad. And then he sees mustard man. I, I could draw like this. Mustard man and they have a gay road trip. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome to the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. So, in case anyone did not know, this is actually the demo for Life is Strange 2. And this was announced during E3 and I was pleasantly surprised because I didn't think there was going to be anything for Life is Strange yet until next year. So, as we all know, the first episode of Life is Strange 2 will be out on September 27th. So, I'm really excited to see like what this game will hold. Considering this is a free demo, by the way, if you didn't know, you could get it for free on any of the platforms. And um, I'm told that this demo holds secrets and clues as to what Life is Strange 2 is going to be about, since we have no other information about it. Before we continue, I'm going to read the description of this game so we can know what it's about. Have you ever dreamt of being a superhero? Meet Chris, a creative and imaginative nine-year-old boy who escapes reality with fantastical adventures as his alter ego, the awesome Captain Spirit. Return to your childhood and play a touching and heartwarming one-of-a-kind narrative experience. Oh my god! They have mute licensed music! Oh my god, thank you so much, Donut! This was like actually one of the features I wanted so many developers to do because not that I hate, you know, like, licensed music. It's wonderful to have in games, but as a streamer and a YouTuber, it's so difficult to post my videos online because YouTube will automatically claim it, and sometimes random companies will say they own the music when they don't. Oh my god, this is, like, great! I can actually, like, put the music all the way up this time! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, here we go. We're starting. It's all snowy. So we're playing as a boy named Chris. And from the interviews that I've seen with Donod, they pretty much explain like it's you're gonna feel like you're back in your childhood again. So I'm like really excited to see if they actually captured it. Since they did such a good job with Life is Strange and I managed to connect with everyone except for Mark Jefferson. Uh, <laughs> so I am hoping that, you know, with this demo and the new game, I'll be able to have that same feeling again too. I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh. So we live in a little tiny house. I think we're still in Oregon? I'm not entirely sure though where we are in the US, but I do know it is in the US. And um, unfortunately Max and Chloe will not be in the second game, but I'm completely okay with it because I want a new story. I, as much as I love Chloe and Max, we need a new story. It's very important to tell some more and Donod made it pretty clear that they want to tell more stories other than the ones that we've seen in Arcadia Bay. Oh. Uh-oh. There's Chris's room! It's such a mess! What is this planet? I don't know. We've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. He's so cute! Oh, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Oh my god. Then let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Hold on. So cute. Let me just give you a hand. What is he doing? Is he like actually lifting it up or is it his imagination now? Cause again, I don't know if the main character of the second game has powers. Max does. Okay, so it's not- <laughs> It's not, it's just, he's just lifting it. Cause I'm like, he might have powers too, I don't know. He's so cute! It's a miracle! No, it's just me, Captain Spirit. I can bend all matter to his will. <laughs> I did it. I still got the power. Okay. So, he's an only kid, I can no, only I assume. I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Oh my god, it's like Spider-Man when he's like drawing out his own costume. You gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Hmm. 
Is it mask or no mask? Oh, that's so cool! We can actually like choose. Okay, I really think he should wear a mask. That is my opinion, but I think he should wear a mask. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. It's so cute. What about the armor? What about the armor? Light armor or heavy armor? Okay. But he does need to be agile and move around, you know, as quick as possible. So I think light armor would do him well. Cool. It's so cute! You can customize Captain Spirit! Can he be dark or colorful? Ooh, dark or colorful. You can be colorful. Let's be colorful. That's gonna be so adorable. He's nine, okay? Like... <laughs> So he's drawn- is that a bad guy? Pow! It's a shark. Dragon. Oh my god, this reminds me of me when I was a kid. Beware, man Troy. Man Troy! Captain Spirit is ready for battle. So cute. I saw a hot dog man on the on the wall, so I, I got- I'm glad that's come making a comeback. Captain Spirit! The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Ah! <laughs> it's so cute! Hello, Saturday morning. Oh! I can do anything I want today. Yep, this is totally a Don't Nod game. Oh my goodness! It's so Life is Strange. So, he's still doing the inner monologue in his head, too. So, let's look at all the stuff. It doesn't need weapons. So, just in case. In case anyone has never seen any of my Let's Plays, I like to look around of the entirety of the game just so I can see if there's any hidden messages and stuff. And considering the demo is supposed to give clues as to what Life is Strange 2 is about, I'm going to be doing that. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to be looking at everything. I've read this Where one the strange so thing many went. times. Story and picture by Ethan E. Ellie. Ooh. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal Hal. Aww. And then he doesn't have his friend around. It's sad. Okay. Let's see what else I can look at. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Oh my god, it's so cute. Tattoo? It's time for my secret tattoo. Oh, I'm is it like the water ones movie. that you put on? Oh my god, that's funny. Man, I wanted to go to that, but Dad had to watch the playoffs. Yikes. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to touch on the dad yet, because I did see in the trailer the guy's kind of an alcoholic, Every but... Every team needs a supervillain team. Nice. It, it looks like, like Civil War or something like that, like the cover art. <laughs> okay. So glad I did my Hangul homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Aw, that's good. I like teachers like that when they encourage kids to like be creative and stuff. It's very the important. The treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now I have to locate the second part of the map. Okay, Henry. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. <laughs> that's adorable. Okay, drawing manual. I hope I can draw it. Oh my god. His mom someday. Oh, his mom's an artist. Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book will be a great start. You can you can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. What happened to the mom? Oh no, don't tell me. I'm going to get emotional. God damn it. What's with, you know, Donut giving all these kids no parents? Like, one of the parents are gone? Why? <laughs> Wish list. This isn't greedy. Right, Santa? Plus... Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I have been good. Here's my list for Christmas. Hot dog adventures. Play box. Play box console. Black. Drawing paper, pens, and colors. Stri stricken out. Um, for some reason, I think he has it already. Basketball lessons. Sincerely, Chris. Oh my goodness. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Okay, so this kid is really creative, honestly. Firecrackers? Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Oh. Hmm. I wonder where he hid them. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just want to look at everything before I start, like, playing stuff. Wait, it's Christmas, so it's December right now. Breakfast. Toggle on and off answering. Oh, wow, okay. 
Be right there. Be right there. Cool. So you can answer or not answer if you want to. That's interesting. It's a, li a lot different. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. Okay. Is that a PlayStation beside him? Switch on. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love how creative this kid is because he definitely reminds you of me when I was like little too. Dad said he was gonna fix that last month. He didn't fix it? Right. Can we ask Dad to fix it now? Is that like a thing? You missed! Uh, air ball. <laughs> I should ask Dad to show me again. Oh my god, don't tell me his dad. I need now. Oh, okay, coming! I know, I'm coming! Let me just eat my advent calendar. <laughs> Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Who ate it, the dad? But I was saying, like, don't tell me the dad is, like, like, upset that he, he can't be... A basketball Dad player, so he pushes case. it on his son. I hope that's not the case. Because some parents do that. Like, they force their kids to do stuff they weren't able to do. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up this there? This is kind of sad, because he's he just talking to himself. Answer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. <laughs> Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. Oh my I gosh. I know you're out there, snowmancer. <laughs> okay, let's go downstairs before Dad yells at us. Okay, jeez. I know. So this is dad. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. What does that I mean? Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. What? Whoa. Okay, oh Jesus. Already don't like the dad with his tone saying that. <laughs> Egg and toast. Dude, are you drinking beer at breakfast? Uh oh. What'd you expect, a waffle? Ooh, I like moms! <laughs> uh... I just like sunny side up. Like mom used to make. Yeah. Me too. So what happened to the mom? She die or she happen. leave? I know. You can't keep saying mom used to do this or that. I know more than anybody, Chris. I know. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, why are you drinking? You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Uh, I don't think so, dude. I think you're an hey. alcoholic. I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. Whoa, okay. I, I don't drink that much. Yup, this guy's an alcoholic. Damn it. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. 
Oh, man. He doesn't understand. That kind of sucks. Because he's still young, right? Hey, he doesn't know. Is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. What? Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? Is he beating his kid? Please tell me he's not beating his kid and he just like fell or something. And like, oh my god, I can't take it. Um, it kind of hurts. Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. What? No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I. That, that you got hurt. Oh my god, he hit, he grabbed What's his kid or something. Pain? Okay, okay. Won't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm always excited for Christmas. Intent? I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. Basketball costs ten bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Oh yes, my god, I did. I'm gonna start and crying. Yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. I feel like that's not a Promise. good idea if he does fall asleep. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. He's already drank three beers already? Oh, okay. Bringing out the hard liquor, I see. He can see it! This poor fucking kid, man. Okay, I guess we can go do stuff now. Okay. But what would Captain Spirit do? Hey, let's do oh, my awesome things to do. Oh, cool. Uh I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Hmm, I can practice my target skills on the dangerous beer cans. Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him this time. Uh I bet Mantra I bet Mantrite is hiding on I bet Mantrite is still hiding on his planet. With my full costume I can use my spaceship to find him. My superhero team is strong, but I need to keep my eyes on Mantrite and his supervillains. I could play Buster Party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. I can't let the water eater defeat me this time. We have a lot of stuff to do. Okay. I guess building his costume or making it would be uh, a good start. Oh man, this is cold. I have to check out the water eater. The water eater? So, something is broken in the house, probably. Ooh. Ew. Sticky beer cans. Maybe I can just clean it up. This kid should not be doing this. I mean, to an extent, yeah, he has chores, but like cleaning up your dad's beer because he's an alcoholic, pulverize. Okay. Beer can monster cannot be. <laughs> I like how the screen shakes. That didn't work. The newspaper. Boring. Okay, local police face more protests in shooting death. What? 
Seattle, small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained death of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer, while the latter cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused of civil rights groups mishandling the incident, which led to the public post protest and, and rioting. Uh-oh. That's serious? not good. Okay. Shoot better than a guy. Ooh, can we steal Dad's phone and unlock it? Uh. I need a pin code. What okay, he locked this phone. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to find it. Letter? Whoa, what's this? Dear Charles, we wanted to let you know just how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since em Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. So she died? That includes making sure Chris is getting all the right care he needs at this fragile age. We'll always be honest with you, so please take care of our concern with a sign of love. The way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through our friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police didn't decline you to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To get to the chase, we want to help, so we hope you'll allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Grandma and oh. Grandpa are so cool. Oh, no we're, ever leaving Dad. <sighs> we're not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to your wonderful son. A letter seems impersonal, but we want to think, but we want you to think without pressure. Forgive us if you feel that we have overstepped our bounds. This is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're both here for you always, Peter. Well, that's nice of the grandparents to be like, hey, you, you, you're an alcoholic. I think it's obvious to everybody. You need to get your life together. So we're willing to like take care of your son for a little bit until you get help. But obviously, the dad is not going to do that. And I know, you know, it's not great to take the kid away from their parents, but like. I'm pretty sure Chris doesn't understand what's happening either because he's so young. There's my hot, hot dog, dog man. man. Join the revolution. Want to play? Want to play with hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys. When everyone, why covered in mustard? That sounds so weird. I can't see Dad selling homes. Get real about your future. Become a realtor today. Hmm. Whoa. Is he getting us tickets again? Best Portland best. HeroCon. Portland. Thousand guests. Ooh, it's like, it's like a Comic Con. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. To all employees, recently our Beaver Creek Fields uh, officers offices have required multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. The they have a mirror reputation around the northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into any confrontation. Instead, if you can encounter any problems or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during the office hours. So I'm assuming it's like when Chloe and Rachel jumped on the train. <laughs> oh, those Whoa. are dad's pages. Just uh basketball and stuff? Stout world? Okay. That doesn't really help anything. Um, Damn, you're on fire. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Hmm. Shoot Dad? I don't think I should shoot Dad. He'll make, like, get angry at me. But I kind of want to know what- Okay, well, I want to know what happens if I shoot the Dad with the soft uh, Nerf gun. Will he attack? I want to see how violent or abusive this guy is. Because he, he seems to have, be, you know, hitting the kid or something like that. Headshot! Ow! Oh, cheap shot! I'm going down! Oh! You can't kill the zombie jock! No way! That was a headshot! I am a super zombie! Well, I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Okay, so it's far... Strikes back. The reaction is still- I'm still wary of the guy, I'm sorry, I don't really trust him. What's that? Phone numbers? Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah. Pizza. Uh -huh. Reynolds. Oh, so Dad's yeah. cell phone. Oh, wait, cell phone. No, I can't. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see, what else can I look at? Is this? Open your goddamn eyes. Whoa, okay. 
Dad, it's just basketball. Why are you freaking out, my dude? Goodbye, log. Uh. T Rex. What is this? Stat book. Magazine. Oh, car keys. Mm. I'm just gonna take that. I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swear I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. Okay. Or I could take them. <laughs> Close. Choose your inventory? Oh. We have the key there. Okay, cool. Can sit with Dad. I don't want to really sit with Dad right now, but... Check out the magazine. Mm -hmm. The Railroad Earth. I think he just takes them from work. Dad loves his that notebooks. So what does the dad do? He just works on the train, right? Like the freight trains? Is that what he does? Razor. Mirror. Interview? Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. Oh my god, I like this. I like the shots. Hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of super villains. Do you have any message for them? I will crush Mantroid. We'll forgive them. No, we'll crush him. My message is that Mantroid will never win. And I will find you. And I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? Are my parents? Me. Oh. I don't know about the dad. Like, I, I feel like the mom was, like, really caring about this guy. But, like, the dad just, like, really turned abusive and an alcoholic after she passed away or left. So, my opinion, I feel like, you know, Chris's superhero should be Captain Spirit. The only hero I have is me. That's good to know. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. <laughs> That's so cute. But yeah, I just feel like you can be your own superhero, whether it's a fictitious character or not. I definitely think Chris finds comfort in playing as Captain Spirit. I bet the water ears sleeping again. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's it's important for for him. Stickers. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. That's <laughs> so <laughs> random. What the heck? I wonder when I can start to shave. Superhero <laughs> shave. Oh my god, innocent child. I never get tired. Hot dog, hot man. dog man. Man. I love this issue. Hot dog man, sad. And then he sees Mustard Man! I could draw like this. Mustard Man, and they have a gay road trip! I don't know what's happening! <laughs> oh, we can. God damn, you're Let's see what's in the dad's room. I'm actually really curious. Uh. Perfume. I'm glad dad kept mom's perfume. Okay, so that's the mom's. mom's. just like her. Aww. Baseball bat. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. What does that say? This side up? There's something in there. Oh, what the hell is this? I'm too old to be measured now. Right? Oh, that's sweet. They used to do that when he was a baby. Hey, can you get that? Only the new magnetic waves of my... Oh, the phone's ringing! Save these pants now. Okay, hang on, Dad. I'll get it. 
Chris, answer the phone, please. Why don't you answer the freaking phone? You're the dad, not... Oh, God, where's the phone? Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Sir? Um, okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of oh. the Universal. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'd love to tell you. No. <laughs> Jesus, our righteous Lord. That's nice, Peter. sir, but we're not doing that right now. Wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... <laughs> what the heck? Alright, cool. I guess those were like, what, Jehovah's Witnesses calling or something? I don't fucking know. Oh dear god, let's go back into the Dad's room. The wardrobe. Locked. Oh. I wonder what Dad keeps in Really? Here. Turntable. You can play some records. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Well, at least he knows not to smoke and like do all the bad. Oh, steal one. I, I just want to know what happens. These cancer sticks. Gross. I wonder what they taste like. Oh my gosh, you can actually do it. I I just want to know what would happen if you take it. Don't smoke, kids, okay? <laughs> oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Cool, we'll just steal Dad's gym clothes, I guess. Yes. Yeah. This will totally protect me from man trolling. <laughs> That's a good start. Okay. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Is he on his dad's side? He oh, he has the drawing. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. That's sweet. Oh! What? A key! Can this go to the wardrobe? Yes! I'm gonna find out. Let's go. Careful of booby traps. See what dad's hiding in the wardrobe. Oh. Wow. Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear old Charles Erickson, I am 12 and I want to play pro basketball like you one day. My parents tell me, uh, my parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you're drafted in the NBA team. Thank you and you see you in the next game. Todd Hamill. I knew it! So that's why he's so obsessed with basketball, because he ne he was trying to be a pro player, and then it never happened. Yikes. Something bad happened. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new... friend? Uh-oh. Ch Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed. You don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out. So that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make uh, me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I, I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways, and just said express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place in, in the love in my heart. Your, te your tiny dancer, Audra? Audra, I think that's what you say to him? Yikes. Yikes, that's why he locked this. Oh! Oh. My. God. Oh Dad my god. Got me the new play box. No way. What? Dad used to always talk about this basketball. I guess we can close it now. All right, let's get out of the room. Oh wait, there's a fist mark on the door. No, wait. Fist mark. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Yikes, this Dad's violent. Oh my god, I think the alcohol enables him to be violent, honestly. That's what I think. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. The alcohol enables him. Shit. That was so popular. Yeah, so he was supposed to be the NBA. Maybe... Maybe the mom passed away during that time? I don't smile like that anymore. Championship winner. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Okay, um... Can I talk to the dad? Hey. Hey, sports fan. You up for watching the game with your favorite MVP? Sure, Dad. How's the game going? We're kicking their asses, for once. Okay. I like it. Cool. I like it when the good guys win. Yep. Me too. Won a lot of games? Get, go to the pine tree? Did mom watch games? Play box. Confused by rules. I'm not gonna mention the play box. <laughs> did, you, did mom watch games? Did you and mom watch a lot of games? Oh, uh, well, actually, she wasn't a big sports fan. Really? Funny, huh? But she liked to sit next to me and read. You got that from her, for sure. That's oh. cool. What did I get from you? Hmm. Well, my hero skills, right? Uh, <laughs> won a lot of games? You won a lot of games, didn't you? That's what those trophies say. That's so cool that you were a sports hero. Huh. Yeah, it was. Everybody knew my name. I wish I could have seen you in action. Here you go. Those were the good old days. Man, I hate even saying that. But they really were. So, when do you think we'll go get the pine tree? I told you, right after the game. You're not gonna bug me all day, right? No. Sorry. Okay there, Dad. I'm gonna leave now. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll let you watch the game now. Yeah, fine. Just get me when it's over. Uh, get ready for the tree. Can we get one that's like ten feet tall? <laughs> Only if you cut one down, Viking. We might need a bigger castle, too. Alright, let's go back into our room so that we can dress up as Captain Spirit! If I can do it. There we go, let's wear the cape! I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need a mask though, cause uh... Piece, and I'm almost done. He needs to hide his identity, but I don't know where he would get a mask. Hey spider baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. Oh my god, did you I, so <laughs> so fast. I did that when I was a kid too! <laughs> like, I, I had spiders in a box, I know that sounds weird, but like, yeah, I used to like, hmm. you know, it's take care of bugs and stuff. Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Aww, sweet baby! He watches Frozen and listens to, Mom you know, some musicals. Cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. There we go. Dark clothes. Oh, dirty clothes. Add to washing machine. Now you learn your lesson and stay clean. This is kind of fucked, because he's doing all of the chores when the dad is supposed to be doing it. In reality, you know what I mean? Note? Hmm. Audra. That has a secret. That's the number of the lady he was talking to. Okay. I hope I said this right. <laughs> we'll find out. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him pick them up. Oh god, I hate going in there. Why? What's in there? Is it like the creepy shed or garage or something? <laughs> oh no! He 
is a very well, like, it, it's totally like a kid. Like, you have, like, a big imagination. What the hell am I? I think I'm not alone. What is that thing? I don't see anything else except for that. Getting oh, whoa. <gasps> you have the power, Captain Spirit. You have the power. Don't be afraid. Whatever this gas thing is. Water eater. Ooh. It's the water heater. Okay. I get it now. No more fear. I have to face this monster. The city needs hot water. You can do it, Captain Spirit. Tame him, Captain Spirit. Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of a kid. I used to be afraid of going to my basement because of like yes. the water heater and everything was down there and it made a lot like a really loud noise. <laughs> oh my god. It's the exact same thing. Well, all right. That wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Yeah. All right. So we finished that. We got our um costume. Somewhat. We need a mask though. Oh, can we call Audra? Is that like a thing we could do? Welcome to Kitty Club. Meow. Odessa speaking. Oh. Hi. You sound like you're looking for a kitty cat tonight. Mm. Oh no! My dad won't let me have a cat, but I would love... Your dad? What? Oh. How old are you? Oh, no. Hello? Oh, it's an escort! Suck. Yikes! So he fell in love with that, which is not, there's nothing wrong with that, but I guess that's why he was, why she was saying like, oh, you're ashamed to like tell your son about me because she's an escort. Huh. Better not be making any prank calls. Nope, but just calling your girlfriend. Okay, guys, we're gonna end this first part right here. So there's a lot to dissect within this demo. Even though it's just the demo, it feels like like the first episode of Life is Strange 2. But there's a lot going on here. Um, the fact that the dad is possibly abusive. Because, uh, you know, the marks on Chris's hand and the, the, the punch uh, hole in the door. The fact that he's like alcoholic is enabling him. And now he's hiding a secret girlfriend who happens to be an escort. Nothing wrong with that, but like... The situation he's in right now is not a good time to be in a relationship with someone, considering he can't even take care of his son. So, this is actually going to probably be very dramatic later on. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you know when I upload the next part of Captain Spirit. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! At this year's E3 conference for Sony, The Last of Us Part 2's new trailer and gameplay trailer was shown and it raised a lot of new questions for me. Where's Joel? What happened? Creepy. And sometimes that brings people together in a not so cute way. Here are 6 terribly awkward romances in video games. Number 6. Cole and Elsa. 